addressing homelessness in the area by helping to prevent eviction. That's what Ohio Senator Rob Portman is actually looking into. We want to thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Kristen Hartman. And I'm Craig McKee. This is a topic that has gripped Cincinnati and it, earlier this year became a really big issue when Councilman Greg Landsman passed an eviction plan at the local level. Nine on your side's Marielle Carbone has been following this issue. And Marielle, how big of an impact can eviction really have? Well, Craig, the ramifications can be pretty serious from preventing you from finding another apartment to live in to even having you living out on the streets and homeless. In fact, where we're at right now here in Washington Park tonight, there's actually going to be a memorial for people living out on the street that have actually passed away here in Hamilton County this year. So there are serious consequences, and that's why the senator is looking to make this legislation, which helps prevent eviction before it ends up at this point. Eviction is a traumatic part of life for a large swath of our city. Kicked out and nowhere to go. It's a problem many in Cincinnati face, leading to homelessness. Of the 50 largest metropolitan areas in the country, we have the 10th highest rate of evictions. Josh Spring is the executive director of the Greater Cincinnati Homeless Coalition and says to make a change, it'll take real action and legislative protections. The question is, will we as people and will politicians um, stick their necks out far enough to make necessary changes? That could be happening. Earlier this month, Senator Rob Portman introducing the Eviction Crisis Act. The legislation creates a national database to track evictions and establishes an emergency assistance fund to provide short-term financial assistance to those facing eviction. In a statement, Portman says this legislation will help prevent avoidable evictions, reduce homelessness, and make it easier for people to escape poverty. I think that it could make a difference. The question is the size of that difference. Spring hoping it's a start. It's going to take uh, bold, controversial decisions that are going to make some people angry. And the Homeless Coalition actually trying to get some more local law on the books uh, coming up with the 2020 ballot. Uh, they're trying to get the Cincinnati Affordable Housing Trust Fund on there to help create some more affordable housing and again uh, prevent that eviction from happening in our community. Now reporting live from Washington Park, Marielle Carbonine on your side. Marielle.